Today we're looking at piecewise defined functions. So a piecewise defined function is just some function that is defined using multiple functions that are defined over different intervals on the number line. So you can see for this function we have two lines x plus 3 and negative 2x minus 3 that are defined on two different intervals. So the top one is defined for values of x less than negative 2 and the bottom one is defined for values of x greater than or equal to negative 2. So first we want to graph this and the approach that we want to take in graphing this is just to treat each one like a line independently and then just limit the values that we choose to values less than negative 2. And then for this one, do the same thing, but limit the values to values greater than or equal to negative uh, 2. So to figure out where to start, usually I just start at the upper end or lower end of our interval and just pick other values that would lie within our interval from there. So let's take negative 2, and we're going to start there and plug it into our function. So negative 2 gets plugged into x here. So negative 2 plus 3, that is a positive 1. So when x is negative 2, we get a y value of 1. But if you notice here, this is saying it's strictly less than negative 2. So at negative 2, even though it gives us a value of 1 here, um, we're not going to equal 1. We have to be, but we're going to approach 1. So at negative 2, we're not going to equal 1. We're going to approach 1. So we use an open circle, just like we would if we were dealing with a number line. Now let's pick uh, values that we can plot to plot this graph. So it's a line. So we can use its slope of 1, right? It's a slope of positive 1. So we can go up and right 1, up and right 1, up and right 1, and continue to graph that. Or we could go down and left, down and left down and left, and there are points that lie on this line. But remember, we have to consider which of these points are within this restricted interval that we have. So we need all of the values that are less than negative 2. So all the values to the right of this open circle are not going to be included in this graph. So all of these values over here aren't included. But everything to the left of it is less than negative 2. So those all work. So we can then just draw in our line. And this is our equation here. So this is f of x equals x plus 3. So that's the first part of our graph. Um, I'm going to switch colors to this purple here to draw the second half. So the second half of our graph is defined by this negative sloping line. Uh, so this is on the interval where x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So let's do the same thing that we did here. Plug this in and then plot other points using the slope and figure out which ones work from the domain. So negative 2 gets plugged in here. So we have negative 2 times negative 2 minus 3. Uh, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. 4 minus 3, that is 1. So when x is negative 2, the y value is 1. So that point that we weren't allowed to fill in earlier, we are actually now allowed to fill in because it's defined by this other line. So now let's use the slope to find other points. So it's a negative slope of negative 2, so we can go down 2 and then write 1. Down 2, write 1. Down 2, write 1. Or we could have gone up 2 and left 1, up 2, left 1, up 2, left 1. And those points will define this part of our piecewise function. But if we look at this restricted interval here, we know that all of these values that are on this purple graph, or it's soon to be purple graph, have to be greater than or equal to negative 2. So they all have to be to the right of negative 2. Right? So these values had to have come from a value of x to the right of negative 2. So that means that all of these other values don't work. So now we can use this to draw our line. And let me just make it a single color. 
So this now here in green is going to be our linear function, our piecewise defined function. So this thing right here is our piecewise defined function. Um, and then this half over there, right, this half here is the function f of x equals negative 2x minus 3. So you can see that from this we have two different functions that make up this single function, and this one function together is called a piecewise function.